I'm going to use Mojo One to measure, map, draw this flight of stairs and while it's doing that it will also calculate the rise and run, the gradient along with some other important measurement data for me. Let's start at the bottom. Now I'm in closed shape. The path type is by default set to straight line. Just to note actually I could pop Mojo device into the stick enclosure but because I want to get right into the corners if I just show you here I want to go handheld whereas if I'm using the stick I'm getting a cut in the cables. Now there's a number of ways that you can approach measuring this stairs so I'll do this way first. I'm going to place the Mojo device. Let's rotate to turn on. I'm going to place the Mojo device. You can see that right there right into the corner at the bottom of the staircase to capture the first point. Notice that the corner which the LED light is located on the device is the actual point at which the measurement is made. Now all I need to do is I shall move it up the riser onto the edge of the first step like so, like that and I wait for the light to go from red to green which tells me that the point is captured. Then let's walk the threads all the way up to the first flight and place the device down and when I place it down, I place it down gently. I don't drop it, I don't hit the ground with it. It is an electronic device and I don't want to shock the gyros inside which could affect my measurement accuracy. Likewise, you know, I would not crash land my smartphone on any surface for similar reasons. Just a nice gentle placement on the ground like it is like it's a cup of tea perhaps. Continuing now across to this corner. If you can see this corner of the landing, place it in nice and snug. And the next corner, place it down nice and gently, nice and snug, right into the corner. Light goes from red to green. Point captured in the next corner, place it down there. And as you can see, the light is red when I'm measuring, when I'm in motion with the device. Then when it is placed down, and it is still, then the light turns green and it takes but a moment and the point is captured. Onto the edge of the next step, place it down. Great, the point is captured. Up, up, we go to the top of the stairs and every six to eight seconds we need to place the device down, which is more than enough time for what we have here. Now, while I'm here, I'm also gonna capture the top landing. I'll capture that. So, time-lapse mode on. And this is where I am grateful of the agility of using this nimble device in that I'm able to reach through the cables like so, place the device down gently. The point is captured and I can move on. All I have to do now is ensure that I finish where I started. There we go. And press the start finish button. And in a moment, the total perimeter and the total area of this space is captured. But more crucially for stairs, I can find out their total rise and run. Let me just pop this camera down and we'll have a proper look at it all. Okay, that'll do. Right now, we're viewing our drawing in plan. So let's tap the view icon in the bottom left of the navigation bar. Let's move across our pop-up navigation bar at the bottom to here right where I can select 3D. Where we can view the stairway in all three dimensions. And let me just pan around for you so you can get a feel for it, get a feel for the whole stairs. All of our distances are on there. And in order to find the rise and the run and get our gradients and slopes, I will select a point here at the bottom of the stairs. Now if I can draw your eyes down to the navigation bar again, tap view and we move across to the right where we can see the cross section tool which I will tap to activate. Select another point at the bottom of the first flight of stairs and we can see the length, the rise and the run is displayed. Mosier has done the math, all the math for me. I have not had to do any calculations and what's more if I want to know the gradient or slope I simply tap the green 
cross section button let me do that move across the gradient move across to the gradient on the navigation bar and just like that you can see we have our slope we have our gradient we have a lot of information on here already on which we can make you know informed decisions and check to see if this will comply with building codes or building regulations and I can show you so much more but before I do let me very quickly show you another way that we can actually measure these stairs because you may want more information and capture the detail of the steps because Mosher will capture the minutia of each step the unit rise and the unit run of each step and calculate the slope therefore in between so let me just show you I'm going to grab this well actually before I do that first let me save this measurement let's call it stairs Mosher phase three page three we can put it into a folder to keep everything organized so let's call it innovation center done right I'm going to grab this we'll head down there and start a new measurement okay started a new measurement we've selected the closed shape and if you look here we have started off as before we've placed the device into the corner at the bottom of the first step like so the light is turned from red to green I'm going to move up like so to the first edge of the first step to capture the vertical distance of the first rise or the unit rise then move along like so along the tread or step to capture the unit run again it is done and we'll repeat for the next step like so and do the same thing and notice how the measurement has been drawn out on screen along with the numbers so let's continue up up and away to the top and back down again and then have a look at what we've got. So, time lapse mode on. Place it back down to the corner nice and snug and we are done in no time at all. So let me place this camera down so we can have a look at the measurement. Great, that's nice and steady. So tap view in the navigation bar then tap 3d immediately a 3d representation of these stairs appears on the screen i shall rotate it around now so that you can see it in all of its glory and if i zoom in we can see the detail of each step is captured and in fact if i select any point on the stairs we get the x the y and the z uh, and the Z points they refer to the elevation and as I tap the uh, navigation arrows different points are selected and the elevation the Z changes you can see those numbers change and like before I can then tap the cross-section tool and get the run and rise along with gradients between any two points in fact if I select the bottom point on the stairs um, and then uh, another point on the floor level then select the highest point on the top landing using the cross section tool then we have the length the rise and the run the rise which is here which I'm more interested in being the total vertical distance from one finished floor to another and you can see the numbers on there and then I can save this so let's call it stairs steps Mosher phase three and then save it into the innovation center folder so everything's organized i can now export these measurements right here and now to a customer in pdf format png we have the csv points as well as well as that the dxf formats which can dovetail into cad for 3d workflows and if you so wish you can print off in scaled pdfs with the ability to configure your paper sizes so this device can do more than i can talk about here and like just briefly these stairs as you can see they're all straight lines but Mosher isn't limited to just measuring in straight lines so here you know you can see is a spiral stroked curved stairway and landing that I measured earlier so just notice how particularly on the landing the lines are not straight but curved this is because I was able to switch seamlessly from using line as a path type to arc and looking at it in 3D it is a thing of beauty all the numbers are on there all the math is calculated 
Then there, if look again, there's this mammoth flight of stairs I measured out at the Etihad Stadium, I believe it was. So the distance, as you can see, isn't an issue either. Look at that big measurement, the big numbers. There are a lot of steps on there, steps that seem to go all the way to the heavens, but this little device tackles them all. I'm holding it the right way. It tackles them all step by step and makes short work of it all.